Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Spirit Mod Showcase video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 favorite things about the new Spirit Mod 1.4.2 update. It is called the Sinister Sands update and it releases on March 27th, which is the day I'm going to be posting this video. Number one has got to be the new boss changes, like they completely overhauled the Scarabius boss. They also did another overhaul to the Vinerath's Bane, as well as some changes to the Starplate Voyager, the Snowmonger, and Infernon. I made some videos about all of those bosses, so you can check those out if you're interested in some more details. And number two are the new structures that have been added to the mod. This right here is the Dark Sepulchre. It was something that was in the mod before, but it was kind of more of a rectangular box. And now it is so cool. It's like a miniature castle. Oh, this one has a minecart that goes through it. That's kind of fun. And you can see it's got all of these cool window looking things and mirrors, little details everywhere. I love all the cobwebs and everything. And of course we have our dark sepulcher chest, which is trapped apparently. I don't think I've ever seen these enemies. That is so cool. They're Draugr. Okay, let's go ahead and take out these Draugr. Nice. And now we've got the treasure that we can access. And we got an old cross. So it looks like they've updated the treasure in this as well. So I just summoned the old cross and it sends out all of these crazy cute skeletons that run around everywhere. That is really awesome. I also found this toxic bottle, which you can throw on the ground and then you can shoot and it blows up into a big toxic cloud. And they also added these dynasty block shrines, which are really cool because they have what's called a fathomless face in them. And if you right click, it can give you a positive or negative effect. That just gave us bad luck. Let's go find another one and see if we can get a better effect. So here's another vase and let's see what we get from this one. Ooh, got good luck. Excellent. I'm not 100% sure how these things affect your character, but I think it may give you extra gold. And then it also has this black rock below it and you can actually craft a dice that will teleport you to a fathomless shrine. And my number three favorite thing about the new update are all of the new weapons that they've added to the game, like this screaming tome. It makes you feel like such a necromancer shooting these skulls. These weapons look so polished. And we've also got the luminous sea cone, which shoots out these really pretty looking projectiles, very similar to kind of the Empress of Light. And same thing here, it's very reminiscent of the Empress of Light effects. It's just so polished and really nice saturation. And I just noticed that the lighting effects are also kind of a rainbow color. That is so cool. And then we have the Accursed Blade, which hopefully we can find an enemy because this weapon will charge up souls and then you can shoot them. It's so cool. And then we have the Staff of Ornaments, which shoots out all of these different gems. I wonder how the crafting recipe is for this because I bet it probably needs, yeah, it's a combination of all the different um, scepters and granite chunks as well as marble chunks. Nice. And my fourth favorite thing about the new mod update are the new mounts. Right here, we've got a manta ray and it can only be used underwater and it's craft from coral and shark fins. It is super easy to get and something you can get pretty early in the game. And it's really fun to use. It gives you unlimited breathing underwater as well. I love all things ocean, so I'm really happy that they added an ocean-based mount. And then there is also this mount that I found from the Scarabius boss, which rolls and you can do damage rolling through enemies. Pretty cool. And for number five is the hyperspace bust. It is such a cool item. It creates an artificial hyperspace biome. And if you're wondering what that means, I will show you right now. You right click on it and it changes all the colors and you see the background turns into a very like hyperspace digital looking thing. Really awesome. It has cool particle effects and I love that the statue lights up. We've also got a nice soundtrack going. This is the same as monoliths where if you get too far away, the effects will disappear and the sound will change. I definitely love new biomes and new effects. So this is right up my alley and a really cool addition to this mod. And the crafting recipe for it is pretty simple as well. You just need a workbench, smooth marble blocks, ancient marble chunks, and the discharge tubules. And these tubules are crafted from tech drives. And it looks like they may have added a bunch of other fluorescent things. 
I don't remember these being part of the mod. Maybe they were and I just never noticed, but those are pretty cool as well. And number six are all the cool new enemies that the mod added in this update. We've got the Skeleton Brute, we've got the Chest Zombie, and we have one of the Draugrs from the Sepulchers. And these are just some of the many enemies that have been added. Whoa, that's cool. This one really knocks us back if it hits us. That's fun. So these are just some of the enemies. That one right there appears to be during a Blood Moon because you get Dream Stride Essence. Pretty sweet. And I'm sure as you explore, you're going to find lots more enemies. And for number seven, it's got to be the new music and the new biome effects like this song right here. Super cool. But there's also a new song for the meteor biome and it's a really kind of ominous song. I really like it. And they also have these kind of little fire effects that float around the screen when you're in this biome, like these little particles. Just little effects like that add a lot of detail to the mod. And Spirit Mod's always been really good about making sure the ambiance is just right. And some other songs that were added to the game are the Corrupt Knight song, the Frost Legion got a new song, and the Infernon boss music got changed, as well as the Mystic Moon event. And the Spirit Biome also got some changes with some particle effects in the foreground. It kind of reminds me of Stranger Things, like the Upside Down, with all these little particles. This is very cool. And for number eight, we have the Lantern Festival. When you place one of these lanterns right here, it does something similar to 1.4, where it's got all of these cool lanterns, except now they're in your foreground and you can control when it spawns. All you need to do is craft a Festival Lantern, and that's just the combination of Chinese lanterns and lead bars. I'm all about the ambiance, and so I'm super happy about this addition. And for number nine, there has been a rework of the Gambler NPC. And so let's go ahead and buy some of these little lock boxes and see what they do now. Before I was a little bit confused, but I think they've added an animation. Yeah, when you put one of these lock boxes on the ground, it has that cool animation, and then all of the loot comes out. That is so neat. And I think they've also added different things you can get from these lockboxes. It feels so rewarding to see all that gold and everything. And we just got a gem that says holds untold power. That is super cool. It like glows in our inventory. So let's go ahead and open a whole bunch at the same time and see what we get. That looks so cool. Ooh, so much gold. And we have a gilded cane. It's a vanity. Oh, that's neat. It makes us have a little walking stick. And for number 10, we have the Naturalist Workshop. So this is a new crafting station that can craft all sorts of ambient objects and tiles. To craft this, all you need is 20 wood, two iron bars, and six enchanted leaves, and you'll get those from enemies in the briar biome. So let's go ahead and place this and see some of the stuff we can craft. So all I've got is some dirt, stone, and clay. And just that gives us access to so many different blocks. Like, check this out. Ivy stone. That looks pretty cool. Let's get some of that. And then maybe let's grab some rough dirt. See what that looks like. And things like the festival lantern. You can see also use the naturalist workshop. So there's a lot of cool stuff for all those builders out there that want to try some new blocks. Yeah, these look pretty sweet. You can make like a really cool looking cave or like an overgrown castle. And that concludes this showcase video showing my top 10 favorite things that were added to the Spirit Mod 1.4.2 update. Remember it comes out today, which is March 27th. So be sure to check it out. I also just recently finished a playthrough using the Spirit Mod. It was a melee mage playthrough as Seth the Skeleton. It's a good resource if you're new to the mod because it shows the progression and it was a ton of fun. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.